วัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. So one of my most popular recipes on the show is a m a s a m a n curry. I made that video several years ago, so it definitely needs a refresh. But I also never showed you how to make the actual curry paste from scratch yourself. So this video is it right here. And also next episode, I'm gonna show you my new m a s a m a n curry recipe. So definitely stay tuned for that. And I will be using this paste in the next video. And for those of you who don't know, m a s a m a n curry is a Thai coconut. Curry that is rich and stewy, and it's full, full of spices, and everyone loves this. I literally do not know anyone who does not love it. So let's get started. So what's unique about m a s a m a n curry is that it is full of dry spices, and in Thai cuisine, we don't actually use dry spices that much in general. So what I've got here is some coriander seeds, which I've toasted, some cumin seeds, which I've also toasted. Some white peppercorns um, on the ground side. Some cinnamon, nutmeg, some ground cardamom. This is cloves, and I've also got some salt. And yes, if you've got whole versions of these and you want to just blitz it up and make the ground version yourself, you absolutely can. This just happens to be sort of what I have in my pantry. So I'm gonna grind these up. You can definitely mortar and pestle it. Just for the heck of it, I'm gonna throw in all the already ground spices too, just you know, so they can mix with each other. Yes, I do feel that if I shake it, it grinds better. Ta-da! Look at that, nice and fine. Okay, so what I'm doing next is I'm gonna grind my dry chilies in here as well. If you're more than pestling it, what you would do is soak these in water so it's soft, so that you can grind by mortar and pestle easier. But if you're using machine, keep it dry. Now, m a s a m a n curry is not a particularly spicy curry, so you don't want to use the small Thai chilies that are super spicy. That's just not its character. Um, you would normally use Thai dried spur chilies, which are bigger and milder. I can't find that here, but I have found a really great substitute, which are these w a h i y o peppers, which you can find at Latin American stores. They are much bigger than a spur chili, and I'm just adding a couple of. You can use Thai chilies, but a couple of our bowl chilies, which you can also get at Latin American stores. These are spicier, so I'm just you know combining the two to get just the perfect spiciness that I want. So I'm just going to cut these and just get the seeds out. Oh, it smells so good right now. I've got the spices under my nose here. Ooh. Oh, oh my God! That one has a lot of seeds. If you grind anything by machine, grind the chilies because they are the hardest things to grind in a mortar and pestle. Put your head far away. You don't want to inhale that. <laughs> Okay, so that's done with all of the dry spices. Now, whenever I make curry paste on the show, I've always stuck with my mortar and pestle. However, I know that's not possible for everyone, and also if you're making a lot, it can be a lot of work to do it by hand. So I want to introduce you to a tool that is my favorite for making curry paste, and that is. The stick blender, also known as an immersion blender, it's very useful in general, and this is my favorite model. It's it's very powerful and works perfectly. If you want to know more about this particular model, I'll put the link down below. It's listed in my kit. The thing about using this is it works well even with small amounts, and it also works well. Uh, Without having to add any liquid, if you've made curry paste with a regular blender, jug blender, you know that it needs more liquid to blend. And food processors in general just don't grind it as fine as it needs to be for a Thai curry. Okay, I'm gonna add to this some shallots that I've chopped, and I'm also gonna add some chopped lemongrass going in there. Ooh, some garlic, and everything that I have added so far is classic standard in any sort of a. Curry, coconut curry paste, not coconut curry paste. Curry paste for coconut curry. You know what I mean. So, and then the other two ingredients. Some of you may not be familiar. Cilantro roots. If you cannot find it, the stems will be fine. And I just want to chop it a little bit. It is mushy because it was frozen. These rings are galangal, which I've also thawed, and it's really hard. So I like to just chop it down. Into smaller pieces before I throw it into the blender, just to help it out a little bit. They do sell dry galangal. They do sell um, powdered, even galangal paste. I've seen which you can actually use in this application. 
And now, of course, we're making a Thai curry paste. We're gonna put in some shrimp paste. So shrimp paste is in a lot of Thai curries. If you are vegetarian and you wanna leave it out, you can. I, you can add miso if you happen to have it. If not, don't worry, you can just leave it out, okay? And shrimp paste is basically fermented krill and it smells really funky, but it adds a lot of umami and almost body to the curry at the end of the day. You only need a little bit. And don't open that jar any longer than you need to because it will stink up your place like shrimp paste. And that's it, that's all there is to it. So now I'm going to, uh, first of all, close this tub so it doesn't continu continue to perfume Adam's apartment. And you see, see how there's not a lot of liquid? But with a stick blender, you can just kind of jam the blade in and kind of force it to work. And then the moisture from the onion will start to come out and making everything a little easier to blend. I better add all my dry spices too. Ah, there you go. But see? See how quick that is? And then every once in a while, you can just go in and give it a flip and a scrape because sometimes, you know, there's a piece of onion stuck at the bottom or whatever. So you can take care of that. And that's it. It's done. How easy was that? I mean, apart from the tearing up that I'm experiencing because of the shallot, it was a breeze. Ah, oh, that smells amazing. Look at this stuff. Now, um, I should add also that this is a very powerful immersion blender compared to other models. If you've got one that it might not blend as well, I've never tried it one, with one that's um, weaker power, but if you already have one, give it a shot and see how it works, okay? And also, if you wanna make soup or sauces, you can stick this right into a pot, and that's what I love it, I love it for. Or if you're making a smoothie, you just stick it right into the cup you're drinking from really convenient for that as well. Does that not look like a professional curry paste or what? So the recipe, as always, will be on hotthaikitchen.com. Now, if you have not subscribed to the show, definitely do because when I post the Masaman curry, the brand new one, you do not want to miss that. And once you've subscribed, make sure you click the little bell icon beside the subscribe button because that's how you'll get notified when I post the next video. And when you make this curry paste, definitely send me a photo on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And if you love the show, would like to support us, check out our Patreon link in the description below. And I will see you next time for your next delicious Thai meal. I like to shake it while I grind. <laughs> that came out totally wrong. <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs>